Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an EPC 1000H. It's an older netbook, came out in 2008, and I uh, purchased it pretty much when it was brand new. It was one of the first 10-inch netbooks available on the market with an Intel Atom N270 processor and 1 gigabyte of RAM, and was available with either Linux or Windows XP. And the reason I keep it around is for testing purposes like this. Uh, today, Microsoft is making available Windows 8 Developer Preview. And one of the things that Microsoft has pointed out is that it'll run on older hardware, like an older netbook. So I decided to install it and uh, and see if I could put that test uh, test that claim. And it does it installs pretty well. Uh, it has a couple of weird quirks. There's a 1024 by 600 pixel display, for instance, on this netbook. Um, but I've got an 800 by 60 resolution on the uh, operating system. It doesn't seem to recognize this resolution just yet. And while you get this sort of funky start menu, a lot of applications uh, actually load up instead using a much more traditional desktop view. So um, installing it required a DVD drive. Uh, couldn't find a good way to install using a USB flash drive, but I'm sure something will come along soon. And uh, so you just need to plug one in via USB. Let's take a look at some of the things here. You can see that we've got this sort of big, touch-friendly user interface, information about uh, power, notifications, uh, wireless, and so forth. There's search, which brings up applications, settings, files, and other things here. This is sort of, um, you know, the touch-friendly version of the traditional start menu. And it works really nicely, really fast. But I've noticed that sometimes, and it might be a limitation of this particular uh, screen resolution or something else, but sometimes when I click on an application, nothing actually happens. Um, that said, we can click the desktop view here go to a much more traditional looking Windows desktop experience and launch Internet Explorer. Now you're not getting the uh, Chromeless version of Internet Explorer, the one that's meant for touch screens here, and again I think it's a problem with the uh, screen resolution. Um, but you do get a basic experience here of Internet Explorer, there's the uh, new Windows Explorer as well, which has the ribbon user interface here at the top, and uh, some other basic applications. So uh, that's a quick look at what you get when you try to run Windows 8 Developer Preview on a netbook. Another thing that's really nice here is just how quickly it shuts down and restarts. Um, shut down turns off the screen almost right away. I don't know if you can see there's still blue light here, so it's still actually shutting down in the background. Um, but it uses a new sort of uh, shutdown, now it's completely off, it uses a new sort of um, system where it uh, saves some of the kernel data to the hard drive, sort of like a hibernate mode, um, but it uh, creates a completely new user session. So it boots and shuts down much, much faster, and the autofocus is confused on my camera. But let's go ahead and turn it on here. We've seen this boot as quickly as eight seconds on faster hardware. Um, now this, of course, is an older, slower device, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But in my test so far, um, we've had boot times as little as 20, 25 seconds. Here we are about 20 seconds in, and there we go. That's the lock screen. There's no touch screen here, so you sort of have to click and drag up, and then you can enter your password. and get back to your desktop. So, again, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at Windows 8 Developer Preview running on a netbook. Um, still some bugs to be worked out, but this is, you know, the first release that's available to the public, and it does work, even on older hardware, and it seems to be relatively fast, relatively uh, powerful. I'm not sure that I would replace uh, Windows 7 or Windows XP or Linux or whatever else you're using right now, but it's, um, it's definitely something that you can play around with, even today. Uh, taking a quick look at the task manager, in terms of performance, it's using uh, less than 10% of the CPU right now, uh, less than very little memory, 
and uh, seems to be running 35 processes at the moment, which is a little bit less than they said on stage at the build conference um, while running idle, but still pretty good. So again, Brad Linder of Lilliputing, first look at Windows 8 Developer Preview running on an Asus EPC 1000H netbook.